in the muggy atmosphere of the Mulwenny Valley, close to Durban, and I've got with me Leo Photo's flagship tripod, the Gabriel. Okay, it's also known as the LG324C uh, for its more technical name, but this is basically Leo Photo showing off and showing the rest of the world that they can create a tripod that is as premium and as upmarket as some of the European and American brands that cost significantly more than the Leo Photo brand does. To give a little bit of background, Leo Photo have been in South Africa since 2018 and have, have been around internationally since about 2014. They're well known for their 10 by layer weave carbon fiber tripods, both the Ranger and the Summit series. Summit series is a traditional system tripod, so it has um, interchangeable bowls, rapid columns, geared columns. It's what you would consider a full-size studio tripod. It's a big, heavy piece of kit. The Ranger, on the other hand, has been taken up because it was designed for travel photographers and landscape photographers. And what makes it unique, or at least not unique anymore, but what made it unique when it first came out was the lack of a center column. A lot of tripod manufacturers try to make their tripods more portable by creating Traveler Series tripods. These tripods usually have a system where you fold it in on itself so that it takes up less space when packed. The problem that you have with these though is that they are still fairly wide in their diameter when packed. So what Leo Photo did is they did away with the center column entirely, meaning that the tripod is much narrower when collapsed and therefore more packable and a lot lighter. The thing is some tripod aficionados still want to have their center column. So Leo Photo brought out something called the Mr. Q series, which allowed the use of a center column, but still had a very short plate so that you basically had the best of both worlds, a center column or a ground level tripod, but without adding any bulk for the packing process. They also came out with the Athena at the same time. Now the Athena is special because it has a new set of leg locks and tubes. These tubes are more corrosion resistant. They have titanium ends at the bottom of the legs. They've got a new alloy in the locks themselves, which is more corrosion resistant. And to avoid the issue of rubber sleeves slipping on the leg locks themselves, they've got rubber inserts that have been glued into the actual um, alloy leg lock itself. What Leo Photo then did is they took the advantages of the Mr. Q and the Athena and they put it all together into the Gabriel. Now if you don't like the silver paint job that it's got you can of course get the Lucifer which is completely black. It looks no different to any of their normal ranges apart from the fact that all the internals are rather special. Apart from the rather silly naming convention which I have to admit I'm not a fan of um, the tripod is extraordinary. The leg locks work beautifully, they're smooth, they are um, waterproof because of the o-ring and the collar that have been incorporated into them and it is, it has all the same sort of features as the standard Ranger LS324C but is more durable due to the titanium joints, the new alloy leg locks and Having the new paint job on the top also adds to the durability over the actual carbon fiber legs themselves. To match it all off, Leo Photo have even added an LH40 head in the same scheme as the rest of the tripod, so it all matches. What makes the apex of the tripod so special though is of course the new Q system. Now this is basically a clamp on top which allows you to change very quickly from a rapid column to a flat plate. Okay, so we've gone over what makes the Gabriel special, but now how about the actual specs in relation to the cheaper and simpler LS324C, which everybody knows already. Essentially, they both have the same payload of 15 kilograms, meaning that if you put a 15 kilogram rig on top of the tripod, you're absolutely fine. It can handle that much weight. So big systems with large lenses or big cine cameras, that's absolutely fine. It'll do that absolutely perfectly. In terms of the actual packability, they're both very, very short, as you can see as I was walking through the forest. If I'm using my f-stop tiliper bag, even with the head attached, it barely covers the top of the tripod, meaning that you can get under bushes and branches and overhanging um, log, uh, branches without any issues. 
Both tripods feature four leg sections and when closed come to, there's, well, there's literally only a centimeters difference between them with the LS324 coming to a closed length of 57 centimeters and the LG324 coming to a closed length of 58 centimeters. So literally only a centimeters difference between the two. And that's, yeah, pretty impressive actually. The standard LS324 does have a center column that comes with it, which allows you to attach it to the top of the head and still get that additional height, but it is not simple to use. You have to unscrew the tripod head, then you've got to put and screw on the center column, then you still have to screw the tripod head back on top of it. Obviously the massive advantage of something like the LG324 is that it has a rapid column attached. So if I want to get up tall, I can get up nice and high to 1,680 millimeters to be exact. Now I'm fairly tall, I'm a, I stand at six foot one or about 181 centimeters tall. So this kind of tripod is what you would consider a full length tripod. Whereas the LS324 in its standard guise without the center column is a little bit short. The advantage of a bigger tripod of course is also that when you are working on rocks, you can extend the leg below you to another platform potentially. If there is a trade-off that you have to make, it's simply based on the cost and potentially maybe the weight ever so slightly. The standard LS324C with a LH40 ball head and the included plate comes to around 8,000 Rand. The LG324C, the Gabriel or the Lucifer, that sells for 16,999 Rand. So it's literally more than double the price of the LS324. There is also an ever so slight weight cost. If you're using the LS324 in its standard guise, you're looking at a, at a weight of around 1,930 grams, so 1.930 um, kilograms. And the LG324, because of the specialized head at the top, is going to weigh around 500 to 580 grams more. So it's 1,980 grams. So it's a little bit heavier, but you obviously do have the advantage of the quick release center column. And of course, you always can go back down to a basic system of only using the, uh, the plate. Nice and easy, very quick. And if you're using one of the uh, quick release platforms that are also provided by um, Leo Photo, you don't even need to worry about unscrewing. It's literally a breech lock addition. I should add that the ball head attached to the standard LS324 uh, Ranger isn't the panning ball head that's attached to the Gabriel or the Lucifer. This also allows you to level your head and then you still have a rotating Arca Swiss plate at the top. Right, so obviously the Gabriel is a fairly special tripod. It's got the same legs as the Athena, which makes them more waterproof. It's got the titanium ends. It's got uh, aluminum alloy grips with um, inserted rubber so that the actual rubber doesn't slip. It has O-rings on the locks themselves, so it's water can't get in. It's got a really new nice paint job, which actually increases the longevity of the tripod itself. It's got the Mr. Q Apex. It's got all the same features as the LS324, only better. Um, it obviously has a somewhat higher price tag, but you're buying a premium tripod when you look at it like that. So at the end of the day, it comes down to, do you want to have the top of the line tripod that Leo Photo provides? If so, it's now available. You've got the advantages of waterproofness, longevity, you've got the center column or no center column if you'd prefer not to have the center column. Or you can go for the base model, which is quite frankly, flipping good still. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. I trust you've enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see some more, remember to subscribe, pop a like into the bottom corner if you'd like, and hopefully I'll catch you with some more products in future. Until then, I'm off to take some more photographs. Cheers. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.